Dear students, welcome back to the English class. Here we have the lesson number 5, the Mullah son. In our previous video, we have heard the explanation of the lesson and even we have written the difficult words. So let's get back and move to the comprehension part that is answer the following questions. In this video, let's answer the questions. There are six questions given. So let's answer those six questions. So the comprehension part, you need to write the B main, answer the questions. The first question is, where did Akbar have his coat? Once again, I will repeat the question to you. Where did Akbar have his coat? The answer is, Akbar had his coat in Delhi. Inside his huge palace. Once again, Akbar had his coat in Delhi. Inside his huge palace. Let me explain to you the answer. Akbar had his coat in Delhi. Delhi is a place. Inside his huge palace. So, the king Akbar lived in a huge palace. So, the coat was inside his huge palace. Once again, let me read question number one. Where did Akbar have his coat? And the answer is, Akbar had his coat in Delhi inside his huge palace. Let us move for second one. The question number two, who did Akbar have at his court? Once again, question number two, who did Akbar have at his court? Answer, Akbar had many famous people at his court. There were artists, musicians, Dancers, poets, scientists, writers and a funny man called Mulado Piazza. Once again I will repeat the answer. Akbar had many famous people at his court. There were artists, musicians, dancers. Poets, scientists, writers and a funny man called Mullado Piazza. Let me explain to you the second answer. Who did Akbar have at his court? So there were many famous people in Akbar's court. There were artists. Musicians, dancers, poets, scientists and writers and even there was a funny man called Mullado Piazza. So these were the people who were found in Akbar's court. Let us move for question number three. What work did Mullah Dopiaza have at Akbar's court? What work did Mullah Dopiaza have at Akbar's court? The answer is Mullah Dopiaza was a jester at Akbar's court who made the emperor laugh. Once again, I repeat the answer Mullah Dopiaza was a jester at Akbar's court who made the emperor laugh. Let me explain to you that Mullah Dopiaza 
made the emperor laugh. He would entertain Akbar through his jokes and through his little activities. So he was called as a jester at Akbar's court. Let us move for question number four. When did Rafiq behave badly? When did Rafiq behave badly? The answer is Rafiq behaved badly one morning when his father was away at the emperor's court. Once again I repeat the answer. Rafiq behaved badly one morning when his father was away at the emperor's court. So let me explain this answer to you. Rafiq was Mullah's son. He behaved badly one morning. When his father that Mullah, his father Mullah, the Piazza was away at the emperor's court. So he had gone to emperor's court. During that time, his son Rafiq behaves very badly. Let us move for question number 5. What did Mullah's wife tell her husband? What did Mullah's wife tell her husband? Answer is, Mullah's wife told her husband that Rafiq behaved very badly. So she had chased him out of the room and he is now hiding under. You go to him, talk to him sweetly and call him to have his dinner. Once again I will repeat the answer. Mullah's wife told her husband that Rafiq behaved very badly. So she had chased him out of the room and he is now hiding under the bed. You go to him, talk to him sweetly and call him to have his dinner. So let me explain this answer to you. So when Mullah comes back from emperor's court, Mullah's wife tells her husband that is Mullah's wife will tell Mullah that Rafiq Dhyasan behaved very badly. So she has chased him out of the room. And the boy is now hiding under the bed. So please go to him and talk to him sweetly. And call him to have his dinner. Let us move for number 6. Did the mullah have anything to say to his son? Answer, no. The mullah was left speechless and he had nothing to say to his son. No, the mullah was left speechless and he had nothing to say to his son. Let me explain this answer to you. That mullah went and saw his son was sitting under the bed. And when his son asked him to join him under the bed, the mullah was left speechless and he had nothing to say to his son. So the homework for today is to learn and write the six question answers one time very neatly in your notebook. So copy these question answers very neatly and write in your notebook. 
थैंक यू